Good evening, everyone. Tonight I thought I'd show you how I'm putting on the new hammers and hammer shanks with knuckles attached uh, that arrived from Germany. And this is the way they ship them. That's the base ones. I'll bring that a little closer so you can just see them. Okay, they, they just put, put them on a piece of tape and fold them together like that so they all stay in order. And uh, so I've got all the weapons on now and I've got all of the hammer sh new hammer shanks right down to here. These are all done. So I've got these four more in this section, the lower treble, and then I've got the bass section, or the tenor at least, and I've got the bass section to do. This is what a whipping looks like. I'll show you here closer so if you can see it, hopefully. And you can see that there's a little spring in here that loops around in there and comes back up here to push this back up and moves the jack back into place, you see, underneath the next knuckle. So, and these are all nice and free because they're brand new, nothing sticky. And this is going to hopefully give me a much more even action than I've had in the past with this piano. Now, there are, like this is a new, this is the next new hammer to go on. And this is numbered on the heel, number 24. And look at how free, perfectly smooth and even. So it's going to make an even action throughout. And the springs in the treble section are a thinner spring and so they put one line one little line across there to indicate that the ones in the middle section have two lines because there's a stronger spring and the base ones have three little lines so that you know which whipping goes in which section now the first step is to take off the old hammer, shank and hammer. And I'll show you on there where the drop screw is. This is awfully bright. The drop screw is, you can see it right there. You put your screwdriver, a thin screwdriver in there and you turn it to lower it down, and it lowers this piece, as you can see underneath there, under here, that presses down on what releases the height of the hammer when you play it. So then this is the knuckle, and this is, your ha this is the heel, and the heel catches in what's called the back check, and that's this piece of buckskin at the back here. Each key has a piece of buckskin there, you see? And you just bend it towards you so that the hammer will catch higher up. That's the catch by the specifications of the company that the piano is made by for how high the hammer should be after you've played a note when it's suspended in that position below the wire that's vibrate, made to vibrate. So this, this is my, I don't want to mix them up. <laughs> this is the old one. They numbered them on the side for these ones, 24. So I'm done with that one now. And this is the new one, numbered on the heel, 24. And the suppliers give you a little bag of chrome washers, one for each of the 88 hammers. So I'll take one of those and put it on my screw. Now that's ready to hold the hammer down. The next step is that the Apple company sent them with the drop screw too high and so I have to lower it. So it's the easiest way rather than using this fine screwdriver in that tiny little wee slot, the easiest way is to just put vice uh, uh, suppliers around that drop screw on the bottom side and turn it counterclockwise like that. One, two, three, four. That should be enough. 
And then that's so that when I depress the key slowly, the hammer comes all the way up and then drops way down. Right now it's only dropping the 16th because that note's been regulated. But when you're trying to regulate the let off, which determines how high the key, the hammer comes up toward the wire, you want the drop screw turned right down so that the, you can adjust the, the let off property without that interfering. So the, the next, now that I've lowered that, the next step is to deal with the whipping that's in the piano. And I want the, the uh, buckskin to catch the hammer in its heel, and it's prepared for that. But when I put the new uh, hammer on here, that's going to be sitting up too high a little bit. And so I got to turn the capstan, which is underneath the whipping, down to lower the hammer down to the level of the other ones that are beside it. But the other thing is, is that the spring, when they sent them from Abel in Germany, they left them too strong so that you can adjust them the way you want them. And I don't want to have to take every whipping off and put it and then squeeze that down and then, and then put it back on. It's too much effort for times 88. So what I do is I just take this little tool and I press down on the spring and go along it, along it this way while I'm pressing down and bend it down so that it weakens the spring enough so that the hammer won't jump back up after I have played the note and it's caught in the back check. I just want it to come up a little wee bit and then fall back down. So here we go. Move these other ones out of the way. Get under the correct spring and press down on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 20 times and then rub the top one up, pulling up on it, try and bend it, weaken it too. And now we see if we did it enough. We put in our new, that's, the, we're gonna put in our new, uh, put our new hammer shank on. That was just to show you. Now this one, we screw it on like this. Make sure that the hammer is spaced evenly between the other two hammers, which it is. Now this one happens to be low enough, so I don't need to turn the capstan. And when I want to turn this capstan, I have to take this little steel thing tool and put it in the hole that's in the capstan. There are about three ho different holes. You put it in and twist it counter you know, clockwise to uh, bring it down and counterclockwise to go up. So, but it seems to be low enough now, so I don't need to go through the procedure of finding the hole with a flashlight and putting it in there and turning it. So we leave that like that. And now the next step is I got to go slowly up with each of the two keys, and I want them to be the same height. And this left left one, the new one, is much higher. So I've got to lower the let off. I've got the drop screw down so I can now lower the let off. I just take that same piece of steel, stick it into that little eye of that let off screw and turn it like that. One, two, and it's going down, you see, so it's not going to be nearly so high. See. So when I go up like that, there, now they're getting close. So if I go together with them, I want them to drop at the same point in time. Now this got to drop a weeny bit sooner, just a hair. So turn just a little wee bit more and adjust it. And there I've got it dropping just at the right point in time. But it's the same as the note beside it. You want an even action. It's got to be regulated evenly between all of the notes times 88. Now this is almost right a bit more. and I get it to come to there that's it and then now the other thing is the back check on these new hammers the ha back check needs to be closer that catches the hammer at that height whereas this one is 
is, is not catching it at all because if you go really hard, it's catching it way too low compared to this one. So I've got to bend the back one, the new one, toward me and see if I've overdone it. Now that's just about right. Hair more. Now the spring is too jumpy. You see, this one is correct, but this one is way too jumpy. So I still got to go back in with this tool and rub that wire, that spring, and weaken it some more. Warm me. Let's see if that did it. No, it's still way too jumpy. Takes a lot of patience. And the other thing is, is that the easy mistake is that this, the spring is in, is is between here and here. When you're sticking that thing in there, you might go through this hole and think you're on the spring and you're not, like I just was. So we got to be in this hole and then press down on this tool and rub the spring and pull up on this part of it, weaken the spring. So let's see if I did it enough now. So we try it again now. There it is. See, it's just coming up a little. If it's too jumpy, it means the spring has to be too strong to get the, to get the jack back under quick enough. So you want it just to go in smoothly and not a jumpy action. So I've got it there now. So now I've got to go back and adjust the drop screw. So I, I go very slowly up and I want it to drop just a sixteenth of an inch. That's a little too much. So I got to turn this screw, the drop screw, get it into that slot and turn it back up a little bit. Give it a little bit more. Still a bump to it. I want it to be just smooth down a little wee bit, down a sixteenth of an inch. There, perfect. So I just wanted to show you how difficult it is to do one, <laughs> to do, to to do one note, and there are eighty-eight of them. So I'm getting there though because I've only got this. I think there are 20 in the base, and then there are three more there. So we're getting there. Anyway, have a good night. Bye-bye.